NFL announcing on Thursday Buccaneers Chiefs is a go in Tampa. No matter where they play this game, is this a must win game for Tom Brady? Not the Chiefs. Yeah. Or pardon me, the Bucks. <laughs> but Tom Brady. I don't think it's a must win. I mean, you got to look at everything that Tom Brady's dealt with last week. He had so many injuries, didn't have any of his top pass catchers, didn't have his left tackle. They were beat up. Well, it looks like help is on the way because Chris Godwin practiced this week. So did Julio Jones. And Donovan Smith, to me, which is the, the player that nobody has talked about enough at left tackle, that is the most important piece for Tom Brady because he was getting beat up and, and battered at 45 because his offensive line couldn't protect him. So I think it's not a must win because – for one, K I mean, Kansas City is not in the same division there in the AFC. But I think the Tampa Bay Bucks are going to show well this year, this week. Right now, he has those pass catchers on the outside. I could not believe it last week that the Bucks only ran Leonard Fournette 14 times in a one-score game. I was baffled. You have none of your receivers on the outside. Leonard Fournette, week one, went over 120 yards rushing. Why not use him? I think he gets back on track this week because Julio Jones – Mike Evans comes back from suspension, and also Chris Godwin is practicing, so he'll uh, potentially go. Russell Gage is back and healthy. So now guys are going to have to have a light box. They'll be able to run the ball effectively. That'll help Tom Brady be able to use some play-action pass, get those guys on underneath routes, and even take some shots on fades to Mike Evans. So I think Tom Brady bounces back this week. We know this offense has struggled the first three weeks because of the, in the injury issue with offensive line and at the receiver position. Yeah, it's not Brady. It's just the fact that the team's been banged up, and they're even Bang talking up. about getting Rashad White uh, more involved in things right. as well, which will take away a little bit from Fournette. But as you said, uh, Fournette's been one of the one of the top backs so far. It's a pick em between these two. As the two Madden 22 cover athletes go head-to-head -head for possibly the last time, the total sitting at 46. So what's your play on this line? Yeah, I've been going back and forth with this. Uh, the Kansas City offense, everybody was wondering, with Tyreek Hill not being there, how this offense would look. It looked really good in week one. Looked pretty good in week two. Now Patrick Mahomes is living right because about three or four of those passes should have been picked <laughs> off. And then last week they struggled a little bit versus the Indianapolis Colts. I'm taking Tom Brady and the Bucks at home. I believe they cover now. Again, routine has kind of been messed up because they had to come down here to Miami to practice this week because of the hurricane. They get back to Tampa. It seems like the game will be played at Raymond James Stadium. But I'm taking Tom Brady and this team. Kansas City had some issues with special teams last week that really hurt them in that game. Um, a fake field goal that got stopped, a muff punt, a missed field goal, and a missed extra point. I just think this defense, this Tampa Bay defense, they're allowing under nine points a game, which is absurd. Todd Bowles was the guy that originally slowed down this Kansas City offense and gave you the blueprint on how to stop the Kansas City Chiefs. I'm taking the Bucks at home and to pick them, take them in the money line. Yeah, the Bucs, I mean, the offense may have struggled, but this defense just continues to be the Buccaneers' defense. Former defensive end Leger Doosable walking us through some of the Week 4 storylines of some good ones to monitor this coming weekend. We mentioned a couple of the big games we have for you on CBS. We'll also have a New England at Green Bay. Uh, looking less likely we'll see Mac Jones in that one. And Russell Wilson looks to keep Vegas winless as the Broncos face the Raiders. Check your local listings for the game near you. You can also stream games on Paramount. Do you want a sports network that delivers everything that matters about the game? The highlights, the picks, the instant analysis, no yelling, no fake debates, no politics. Hit the subscribe button and never miss a moment.